Hey guys, Claude Diamond here, uh, This Running Life, uh, and we're getting to the, to the holidays, and I'm up here in the Colorado Rockies, I'm a trail runner, and we're getting a lot of snow this year, thought it'd be time for a little update on some tips. First thing, um, gl gloves, and I will get how to make your own running shoes in a moment. Um, I get these wonderful gloves, uh, they're uh, woolen gloves, uh, they're called uh, uh, ragwool, um, I love these suckers because um, your little fingers can go through there when you get sometimes you get a little too warm or you need your hands free to adjust something on your body or and uh, when you do get cold uh, you can convert them to the best thing which is just a good old little mitten here and I'll put them on here like show you and then they just go right over and these are as warm as toast but it's kind of nice to be able to take them off and then be able to adjust things as far as that goes and it even has a little velcro tip I think these are Gosh, five, six bucks. They're really not expensive. Uh, probably one of the handiest little things I have, little baklava guy here. Uh, I got it from Under Armour. It's about 20 bucks or so. Uh, it's made of that acrylic, but it goes over your head, and it's great underneath your hoodie or your regular hat on super cold days. Also, you can um, have a face protector. The bottom part goes over your mouth. Now, to the really big thing, um, these are a pair of shoes um, that I wear. Um, uh, they're Montreal's because uh, we have really heavy snow here sometimes. And it's hard to keep your feet dry, uh, but these work really good. I also use gaiters with them. I'll talk about them some other time. And what I do to keep from slipping is I have these little screws, these little uh, half-inch, quarter-inch uh, hex screws. You can get them at any hardware store, Ace Hardware, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. And you just put them in. Make sure they're on the outside of your sole because if you put them in the center, You'll feel them on the ball of your foot or in your heel, and it's very uncomfortable. Put them on the outside, and they act basically like the same way snow tire studs. Uh, they really keep you from sliding. Uh, right now outside here, we've got about an inch of snow on the regular roads, and rubber, just regular flat rubber soles are no good. You'll, you'll break your ankle. Uh, these really work well, um, and very simply, all you do is you get a... You go to the hardware store, as I said, get these little screws, and they have a little hex here, if you notice. And these act um, like little brakes. They dig into the ice. I use a little device here, and the, screw go, and the screw goes inside, and I just push it into the rubber. If you want, you can um, take a device, a screwdriver or something sharp, poke a hole in it ahead of time, then just stick in uh, the uh, screw. And all you have to do is uh, just put it in and uh, take, take the device, and it's real simple. And they just go right in, just like that, that easy. And then in the summer, or when it gets warmer, or, and it's not so icy, if you, uh, if you uh, don't need these anymore because they're a little uncomfortable on the hard surface, just take it out, and boom. So here for 50 cents or less, you can turn your shoes. And there are devices out there, um, I haven't tested them because I haven't never had the need for them, um, that are a lot more expensive. But here, you know, for less than 50 cents of screws, uh, you can turn your, sh your shoes into uh, great snow running shoes. So uh, that's your little running, this running tip uh, for the day. Hey, you guys run out, keep running out there. Winter's no reason to slow down. Have fun. Stay healthy and have a great 2011. Okay, and my name is Claude Diamond. And if you do have any running questions or anything, feel free to give me a call. I'll be glad to share my experiences with you uh, running at 10 to 12,000 feet. You have a great day. Bye bye.